I don't imagine most people would even know how to cook over an open fire, which I very seldom ever cook over an open fire. I cook over a coal bed. And the reason I cook over a coal bed is the more controlled heat. You want a little bit hotter, you just rake a little hotter coals in underneath it. You want a little less, you rake a little what more coals out. Away from the pan. I mean, I've cooked over open fires. I know how to cook over open fires as well, but... Wood versus charcoal heat. you got to learn the difference because... A flaming fire is hot, hot, hot. Coals are hot. Especially if you got a big pile of them. Best baked taters. P baked potatoes I've ever had. Roll it up in an aluminum foil, bury it in a bed of coal, and let it set for a couple hours. Best baked potatoes you'll ever have, in my opinion. That was one thing that always did when we was at deer camp, was baked potatoes in a, a bed of coals. You can say whatever you want. You can disagree with me. If I was you, and I didn't know how to do things for myself, and with where everything is going right now, I would be online. I would learn everything I could. I would start planning. I would start buying, you know, there, you look at the Red Cross, they tell you to have this much provisions, basic 72 hour kit that you can pack with you. It's not hard to make a good one with foods that you will eat. Long term storage. You know, stuff you rotate out was foods that you could normally eat you know that's a year two years and sometimes you just got to learn to eat what you got even though it don't taste the greatest but for for no other reason than then something happened so we got this what if they had shut down even tighter than they did and it was hard to get even into a store I and mean, I pro we probably didn't see it near as bad as what some areas did. Walmart and a few of the other stores got stupid. Why do you wear a mask even though it violates your civil rights? And we didn't have no incidents that I know of around here of them getting stupid and trying to violate a HIPAA, a HIPAA law. Uh, couple towns pretty good sized town just right down the road from us about the same distance that the big town from they just they just don't have as much in the ways of stores hardware stores stuff like that which ain't a big deal but there's nobody standing at the damn door telling you oh you gotta wear a mask no you just walk in the store Almost everybody I've seen in that store, there was a few people, and you know, that's their choice. And I respect them if they're older and they think they, they need the protection or they know they got something wrong with them. But healthy individuals being told, 
hey you got to do this when half the test or more than half the test are probably wrong I'll probably get bleep I'll probably get demonetized if I do that but and then the death toll of the real COVID just the COVID cases is under 10,000 unless it's grew in the last day or two that's crazy the only reason I know about co comorbidity is because my wife's a nurse. So that's a secondary cause. Well, most of these people had two or three other causes for their death. And then say accidents. Okay, so if I fall off a ladder and I die from falling off a ladder and just because I got tested with COVID, don't make it a damn COVID death. It don't. In nobody's book. How is that possible? They need to quit lying to us. And people really need to start waking up to what's going on. Yeah. I think the biggest thing is to just get off mainstream media, period. Once you do that, you start searching out for other news channels and you can find plenty of them on YouTube and I'm sure other places look at look at all the information from both sides I'm not saying hey just look at this this or this no do your own research and see what's going on and form your own truth to it not what I'm saying If you're an American and you're a patriot, or you th even if you think the United States has its fault, which I'm not saying we don't, because we do. But we spent over 250 years trying to right them faults, or basically pretty close to 250 years. to write them faults. We don't need to burn the entire United States to the frickin' ground over the something that everybody's aware of and knows the real, or most people know the real statistics. We need to stop funding with our tax dollars stuff that does not work, social programs that does not work. Now I'm not saying all social programs are bad. And there's a place for it. But when you just, you make people, I think, by giving them everything and just keep giving them everything, you make them lazy. You make them want to just not do nothing because they know regardless they're going to get that check or they're going to get that food stamp so their rent's going to be paid. And I ain't saying we don't need to help people, but we need to help them up. We don't need to hold them in place. People can scream about evil cops all they want. There's good and bad in everybody. 
Well, here's my suggestion. If you want to haul a whole or account, make all cops accountable for one or two bad people, why ain't we holding BLM and Atifa accountable for one bad person shooting another man? For no reason other than he was just dis he disagreed with him. If we can't have the same standards across the board, then we're in trouble.